All right, so we've gone through the hardware interface, the software interface. Let's actually start making some music with machine. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is just let's load up a drum kit. So I'm going to go in and find a nice vinyl kit, and I'm going to load up this guy. So remember we have our volume control, tempo control, all from the controller here. If I hit play, and if I hold shift play, I'm going to turn on the metronome. So from here we can actually adjust how fast or slow our song is going to come in. Now if I was to hit record, we're going to see a pattern show up. Now this pattern happens to be two measures long because that's what I set in my preferences we showed you earlier in the video where you can actually set your beat template um, how many beats are going to come in every time you would hit record to do a new pattern. So I have mine set to two. Now we can start recording or get playing along. Or I can hold shift and hit record and it's going to give me a one bar count in. So that's what we're going to do here and then we're going to throw down the first pattern. Now this is simply my first pattern, and this is going to be kind of my intro pattern. So that's all I want. If I hold down pattern now, I have the option to actually either double, duplicate, or remove this pattern altogether. I'm going to actually duplicate it, and now you can see it copied it right to this pad. So now I have pattern 1 and pattern 2. Now on pattern 2, we can go ahead and add um, instrumentation on top, so I'll, I'll fill in some more parts of the beat and I'm going to do the count it again. Now here's something great. When you mess up like this, you just hit clear. If I want it back, you can hit undo. And now remember, you can do unlimited undo all the way back or redo. So you never have to worry about messing up your pattern. You can just get in here and do it. Now I can turn off my metronome simply by hitting shift play. And we're good to go. So I'm going to leave this playing so you get a sense of actually when I'm recording all this stuff, you never really have to stop the flow of the recording. You can always keep it playing and do all these pattern edits and everything that I do while it's going. So one thing you might find yourself needing is to actually come in and double a pattern. So if I actually hit double now, we instantly have a four bar loop. If I'm gonna go in here, we'll use our keyboard shortcuts to actually navigate. If I hit it again, you can imagine it's gonna go to an eight bar loop. If I hit undo, it'll go back and forth. So this is a good way to actually increase, no more copying, pasting, no need to go into a menu or anything like that. You can just simply hit double right from the controller. So now I'm also going to duplicate this and you can see now pattern three. So if we want to add something on top, we can just turn up the volume, start to audition and see what we want to add. If I hit record, I can actually audition and turn on record whenever I like. Now say if I didn't want to play these patterns in like this, we can again use that note repeat. I can hold down note repeat. And you can select up to four different values to actually go in. So if I wanted to actually add 16 notes hi-hats or something, 
We could either hold down no repeat or lock it like this. Now you can see I vary the pressure, the velocity sensitivity, just by pushing harder or softer. These pads are very, very sensitive, which is nice. You can get in and, and really dial up the velocity however you need. 